Hello, my name is Min Zhao Zhu. It's my pleasure to share our method with you. Our method is integrating map-based method with end-to-end -end model. In the object goal navigation task, an agent is required to search for an instance of a given object category in an unexplored environment. Prioritworks can be briefly summarized as map-based method and map-based method. Map-based method extract the features of observations and the target, then fit them into a model to get action directly. Map-based method build an explicit or implicit map and get a midterm goal using a policy. Then a path planning method or a learned model is used to obtain an action. We discover that most map-based method are data hungry and difficult to learn some behaviors, such as stopping at the goal location. Map-based method contain explicit spatial information, but require carefully designed strategy under some scenarios like stairs. Therefore, we try to combine these two kinds of method in order to achieve better performance. Our method consists of two branches the map-based branch, and the end-to-end -end branch. The output of the two branches is selected by the switch strategy. In the map-based branch, inspired by the semantic linking map, we simplify our previous work by using a probability map. Based on the probability map, we select goals with the largest probability and perform path planning to get an action. The probability map is similar to the occupancy map widely used in robot navigation. Each cell in the probability map stores a logit value. At each time step, we project the result of instant segmentation to that map. If depth is available, we use the view first term of that mask. Then we update the logit value on the cell according to the projected object. The history logit is multiplied by a decay factor, which serves as a forgetting mechanism. For example, if a target object is detected, but the confidence score is below the predefined threshold, we cannot determine whether it is a target. But we should better get closer and check. So we update the cell by adding the logit of that confidence score. If a related object is detected, we update the logit according to the confidence score and the relation probability. The relation probability is obtained from visual genome dataset. In the mapless branch, we hope the robot can achieve efficient exploration like humans, so we use the same model and the training procedure as habitat web. Our switch strategy is simple. We will use end-to-end -end action in three situations. The first one is that uh, the agent is stuck or cannot find the possible path. The second is that uh, the agent hasn't found the target object. The third is that all the cells logit are less than zero, meaning that there is no potential target or related object on the map. Otherwise, we use action from the map-based method. The qualitative result demonstrates how our method works. The agent first explores the environment using the mapless branch. Once it detects a potential target object or related object, it will switch to the map-based method, which guides the robot to approach that area and check. If it cannot find the target object, the probability in that area will decrease. Then the agent switch back to the mapless branch and continue exploration. If the agent finds the target, it will go and stop at that object. The quantitative result shows that both map-based method and mapless branch contribute to a large improvement. Besides, after we fine-tune the semantic model in the training set, we also get a huge improvement. That's all. Thank you for listening.